Adrenaline Volleyball Next Level uh, fans, we have a very special guest today as we preview uh, the Athletes Unlimited Pro Spring Tour. Uh, we're joined by national champion, All-American, Olympic champion, and AU veteran um, Morgan Hans. Morgan, great to see you and talk with you again. Absolutely. So we want to talk about the Spring Tour. Tell us a little bit before we talk about your AU experience. experience Talk about this upcoming tour, um, where you guys are going, the thought process behind it as you go to play some of the top college programs in the country. Yeah, we're going to be all over the place playing some of the top top college programs. Just like you said, we're starting out at Ohio State. Then we get to go down to Kentucky, Louisville next. Uh, we'll, we'll hit Minnesota, Wisconsin, Texas, Baylor, uh, Penn State, Howard. And then we'll also be playing at um, – uh, two club events, um, but basically it's just this wonderful opportunity for us to athletes unlimited to showcase that professional volleyball is here in the U.S. to stay and basically also, you know, connecting with some of these college players and say, hey, look, like when you're done playing collegiately, like you have this opportunity to keep playing um, afterwards too. So I'm really excited just to promote professional volleyball here in the United States. Well, and it's so. It's so funny that you talk about promoting it and letting even the college athletes know that this opportunity is out here because it is new. Um, and when we talked a few years ago, that wasn't something that was an option uh, for athletes like yourself here in America. You had to go overseas. So what has that been? How's that changed your life? How's that been positive for you to stay home? And what do you think about the growth of professional volleyball here in America? Yeah, like I didn't even know like in college like that you could continue playing professionally after um after you're done uh, with your collegiate season. Um the only, and then I had a couple of teammates that were older than me who had decided to go overseas to continue playing their playing careers. Um and a lot of girls end up going to Europe, some countries in Asia, even South America like Brazil or Peru. Um and I tried going overseas for one year. I played in Germany. Um, and it was in the midst of uh, COVID. So it was a little bit of a, a weird time to be abroad and away from family. Uh, but overall, I just felt a little bit isolated overseas. I was there in Germany for nine months. Uh, didn't get to come home for Thanksgiving or Christmas, no holidays. Um, and it's just a really long time to go without seeing family and friends. Um, and so with Athletes Unlimited now existing in the U.S., uh, they gave me the opportunity to continue my playing career in the United States. Um, and I just have felt so much happier and so much more of a whole person yeah. being able to see my family and friends and eat in front of them. Um, so I'm just super grateful to Athletes Unlimited for everything that they've done for me. Um, and I'm just excited for it to continue to take off here in the U.S. Of the thought process, I think, behind the tour is to let some of the AU athletes almost have a homecoming of sorts. Um, and you being from the Cincinnati area, you know, with Lexington, Louisville being close, is that a thought process behind it? Some of these athletes will have a homecoming to go play where they played college. Um, and what what do you think of that, knowing that you're going to play so close to your hometown? Yeah, I uh I know my family and friends are super excited that it's only like Lexington, it's only an hour, like Louisville is only an hour and a half away, and Ohio State's only like two hours away. So my family's like, I think that's the closest I've played to home. Played at home in six years. <laughs> so it's it's been a long time, and I know they're like happy to be able to just drive and not fly somewhere to watch a game. Um, but I know for a lot of other um, athletes on the tour too, like, we have players that have played at many of these schools. And so it's going to be really neat for um, them to connect like as an alum and play at their school again, which they probably didn't think that was ever going to happen in the rest of their lives. So it's, re it's a really cool experience for us as athletes to uh, come back because we didn't think we were going to be able to do that again. What's the mentality? What will the volleyball be like on this tour? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be competitive. Like we want to showcase our abilities in these college girls. Obviously want to, they want to kick our butts. <laughs> Teams to regroup after they've maybe lost some, some seniors that were playing and just kind of uh, playing and just kind of uh, establish their bonds and chemistry on the court. So um, no, it's still, I think it's gonna be really competitive and uh, um, I'm just excited to compete. I think it'll be really fun. Former current stars that we can expect to see. 
Yeah, we have such a, a solid group of girls like coming from um, pretty much all around the country um, that have some have competed in, in the Athletes Unlimited regular regular season this um, in 2022 and some haven't. Um, but um kind of go through the different um, positions. Like, so for our outsides, we have Leah Edmond, Aaron Fairs, Deja McClendon. For setters, we have Alicia Glass Childress. We have Sydney Hilly. We have Taylor Bruns Taking Root. Um, for middles, we have Taz Brown, Allie Bassinelli, Jenna Rosenthal, Molly McCage. Um, and for right sides, we have Willow Johnson and we have Fallon Fanoi Moana. Um, I, and for uh, other Lavera, we have Amanda Benson. Amanda's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm just we have such a great group, um, and I'm really excited to compete with them. All like amazing personalities, amazing humans, um, and also fantastic athletes. So we have a a special group, and we're just excited to you know get 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 going. Fill us in for people who may know uh, with the alternate scoring system of Athletes Unlimited, which makes makes it uh, which makes it unique. Talk about that, how it's maybe different. Your matches during the regular season are different than maybe a traditional match. Yeah, so um, in the regular season, we have a group. There's 44 players. Um, all your stats in volleyball will correlate to a cert to points. So a kill is worth eight points. A dig is worth five points. Um and then an ace is worth a certain amount of points. A block is worth a certain amount of points. But you also can get negative points. So, like, if I mess up on serve receive, like, I have a shank. That's, like, minus a certain amount of points. If there's a hitting error, serving error, you get minus however many points. And all those points accumulate. And it's, like, a running tap or, like, a, a cumulative score for you throughout the season. And that score places you on a leaderboard. So you're ranked one through 44 and you just see people constantly moving up and down based off of their performances in matches. So in three games per week, um, at the end of each week, the top four point scores are the captains and draft their teams for the following week. Um, so it's very player driven. Um, we have facilitators who are, may also, they're not necessarily coaches, but their job is to help the captains that week um, put together their team, organize practices, strategize some game planning. Uh, but they're basically there mostly to help the captains. And sometimes like it's all up to the captain. Maybe they could delegate um, more responsibility to that coach or facilitator for the week. Um, but it's really player driven, um, which I, I love. I think it's been super fun. Hey, talk about the growth Athletes Unlimited and the popularity from year one to what you see now, and just what do you think that's doing for volleyball here in the U.S.? Yeah, well, uh, it's just amazing that we there's a professional league in the U.S. Like before Athletes Unlimited, there had been leagues that have tried to like start in the U.S. and pass, but have just failed. So it's so cool to see that we are now like heading upon season three um, for the league. Um, and it's just giving girls that opportunity to stay in the U.S. and continue their playing career. But just we're now getting more coverage. Like we were able to have a lot of our games broadcasted um, last year. And now we have a deal with ESPN where right. we're going to be able to like stream more of our games. So I just think the popularity of the sport in general in the U.S. Um, is just going to bring more attention to our league. People want to find you is just the AU, the AU website, the best, where's the best place for people to get information so they can follow you guys all year round. Yeah, the Athletes Unlimited website is definitely the best place to go to. Um, we're giving lots of updates there about, you know, who's playing on the tour, where our games will be streamed, where we're going to. Definitely check out that website and I can drop the link um, in our chat too. That that is perfect. Or <laughs> we we thank you. Uh, oh, last thing I wanted to ask: Are you guys still doing the charity? Do you still play for the charities? That was a big part of uh, you know the league last year. Yeah. So for this spring tour, we won't necessarily be doing that, but for our regular season, we will be. Um, and that was actually one of my favorite parts of Athletes Unlimited, like having that opportunity to give back to an organization that you're truly passionate about and care about a cause. Um, that means something to you. Like, it's just another reminder that uh, we can always be giving back to people and um, just trying to make the world a better place. Um, and 
I really love that Athletes Unlimited does that. And we will see you in a couple weeks, I guess, in Lexington and in Louisville. Awesome, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Awesome, Morgan. Thank you so much for your time. And everybody, again, watch our site. Uh, we'll get the updates. Check AU uh, Athletes Unlimited site to see where they could be playing your favorite college programs this fall. So, again, we will see you next time on our YouTube Adrenaline Volleyball Next Level. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.